Meantime, classes started two weeks earlier than normal for students with Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools. WFMY News 2's Joseph Leonard joins us live now in Kernersville with a look at the first day back to class. Sedge Garden Elementary School is one of more than 80 schools district wide where the first day of class is coming to a close and out of the 53,000 students that are in the district, about 300 of them were no shows today due to pre planned vacation. Now those students will not be counted absent because they got prior approval. Back in March, the district voted to start classes two weeks earlier than state law requires. And while starting early might be a change, some students are more focused on what's ahead. Definitely nervous and excited for the upcoming school year. I'm ready to make more memories with all of my friends, and I'm just very excited to see where this year takes me. Well, I'm just excited for a new year and excited to be back in the class and be with my friends and fellow students again. The district says the earlier start allows students to complete winter exams before the holiday break. For families whose summer plans overlap with the school schedule, the district is working with them. Those students will need to catch up. And when they do get back, we know the importance of the first day of school, first week of school, first two weeks of school was setting the tone and the expectation. So staffs will be doing some more orientations and things with those students that come come late. The district reports that the first day of school went smoothly, though some parents did have trouble with the new bus tracking app. Crews were also busy over the weekend removing down trees and fixing issues caused by Tropical Storm Debbie. Now, historically, the state has not penalized any district for starting earlier. This year, 29 districts are planning to start early, including Surrey County and Lexington City, which also began today. Reporting live in Kernersville, Joseph Leonard, WFMY News 2.